So I'm going to do a redo of how... I'm going to do a redo for a voicing for maybe sometimes X and maybe some other characters of BFDI. So, let's go. Remember, there's gonna there's there's not gonna be any music in the background. Do da da do, do do. X, what's wrong? You look depressed. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know what my what I am, what my value is. Then let's go to the equation playground. Got to see where they go to it. To the equation playground. So this is the equation playground. Yeah, and we find an empty seesaw and put you on one side and take something else, huh? And put it on the other. The seesaw leads to eight. Too heavy. So we add some more. Throw some more numbers. Nope. Or add some more numbers, including himself. Eventually, the seesaw is balanced with the equation being. 2 times plus 4 plus x equals 8 plus 2, 3, 3 plus, plus times minus 3. Ooh, it's equal. Now we can figure out your value. Before, there are never, there are too many numbers. We'll never figure it out. Yes, we can, but if we do it step by step and use a pencil. Let's get started. One thing we can we can do is add these two together. He adds x with the, with the two with the two times, making it three times. How'd you do that? We weren't even touching. They don't have to be. Could we do it if we were touching? Yeah. We can also put these together. He adds eight and and negative three, making five. Five. Making five. Five? Wouldn't it be 11 because 8 plus 3 is 11? No. Yes, we're putting together 8 and minus 3 or negative 3. So it's 5. Let's well, see something. We can add these. X takes a pencil. And tries to add the 5 with the 2, but the clean saw leans to the 7, 3 times x. Oof! Sim simultaneously. Oof! Why did that happen? Because the 2 is connected to the 3 plus x. He splits the, the 7, 3 plus x back, back into 5 plus 2, 3 plus x, and the, saw, and the seesaw rebalances. Uh, uh, oh, uh, so, it's like adding apples and oranges. You can't. So what do we do? Okay, see the, see the two times the three plus x? Yeah. That, that's the same as two, as two times three plus two times x, which is six plus two x. Oh, and five plus six is eleven. They get added. Yes! Now we have to move things around. You have to move this two, this two x, to this side. So 5x, x tra transfers this, the 6 to his side, adding it to, to his 3 times, making it 5 times plus 4, but the seesaw leans to 5 times plus 4. Oof! Simultaneously, oof! <laughs> Whenever you switch sides, you have to switch its side. So if it's positive, it turns negative, and vice versa. Why? Think of it this way. You're subtracting 2x from each side. Oh, so it be just 1x or x. Correct. Now do the same with me. 4. Okay. 11 minus 4 is 7. Now what do I do? What's your left to do? X sees it. He's on one side, and the number 7 is on the other, so... Oh! X equals 7, so I'm 7. Yeah, and it's lucky, too. Hmm. So now that you know your value, what do you want to do? I'm going to 
to celebrate by playing with five and three. Hmm, sounds fun. So, uh... Okay. So like boys, X finds out his value. Um I will read this because Uh uh let's just go back to I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave, um, Algebra Lands, okay, I'm gonna go BFB, okay. The first episode, the first episode, getting Teardrop to talk, it's when we first saw four again, um, uh, getting Teardrop to talk, transcript. Okay. <sighs> hey, eraser, eraser, eraser trips over Rocky. <coughs> eraser. What? Look what I just found. It's a rectangle. It's a rectangle. No, Ped, that's a parallelogram. I would know. What about this? Oh my god, Ped. That's a pentagon. Y yeah, like if you took my name and added tug on. You don't understand, Pen. Pentagons are really, are extremely scary. Really? I didn't think it was that scary. The Pentagon makes a lot of noise. Eraser and Pen scream. Help us, Blocky! Okay, picks up saw. Blocky, put me down! <laughs> there, now it's a quadrilateral and a triangle. Phew. Wow, I don't ever want to see a Pentagon ever, ever again. The camera pans to Foldy and tennis ball. F Foldy is a pentagon, so <laughs> that's that's kind of a cool transition. Hey, tennis ball. Hi, Foldy. What's up? <laughs> I'm helping golf ball find where Leafy is. But Leafy's right over there. Oh, thanks, Foldy. Hey, golf ball. I know where. Hold on, TV. I'm busy looking for Leafy. But golf ball, shh, I have to concentrate. Wait, there's Leafy now. Golf ball runs to Leafy, runs into Pin, who is carrying blueberry seeds. Pin drops the seeds and they, and they land next to Coiny. Oof! Hey, Snowball, can you throw something all the way to that pot? Yeah! What should I throw? Uh, grabs the seeds. How about this? The snowball throws the seeds and they break a window of Cloudy's collection. Hey, my window! Sorry, Cloudy. Okay, Fiery, you try. Those blueberry seeds, but the but the in, but the seeds instantly fall to the ground. You try, Taco. Taco throws the seed seeds into the pot. Fiery, horny cheer. Hey, have any of you seen my blueberry seeds? Uh, I hope they're not even in a pot. They're extremely they're extremely fast growing. Yeah. <laughs> The blueberries started to grow. Quinny and Fiery start sweating. Sweat. <laughs> An explosive. <laughs> Zooms in on the blueberries. Cut back to Pin. Oh, well. I'll keep looking. I scoop. Have you seen my bear seeds? Shakes her head. How about you, remote? I don't have any seeds, but here's a fork. Grabs the fork. Boom. My fork. Yellow, yellow place. Yellow face places the, the, the fork in a pile. Yeah, exactly. Sea ball, you understand. No, this is the fork, the fork pile. Yellow face, what is this? They're forks. Yeah, but why? Dallison grabs two of the forks. Zoom out, revealing that that Dallison and uh, Puffball are 
building a Europensky triangle out of forks. It's a very large stack of forks, Skeleton. Rams a stack of forks. Whee! Yay! Brick flies through the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> the fork pops while she gets recovered. Wow, Bubble. It's so cool that you get your very own recovery center. Doinks. Another fork pops Bubble. This is going to be fun. I, I like whizzing match. Hey, who like keeps popping Bubble? Hmm. Let's find out. The Alliance, the, the Alliance finds Book watching Kick and Pie play tic tac toe. Book, help us find a criminal. No oh, thanks, I'm good. If if you don't, we just might have to expel you from our alliance. But I'm an alternate, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I won! Sorry, Pi. No hard feelings, right? Whatever. You look you win some, you lose some. Now that's a great that and now that's a good way to look at it. Nelly, did you pop bubble? No. Looks like a lie to me. Liars must be punished. Picks up Nelly. Let's punish Nelly. Oh my gosh, Nelly! Tribute tribute to Jay Silly Boy, the first commenter on Jack and Jeffley's uh YouTube. Stop! Put her down, pencil. Oh my gosh, loser! TV bo mm, TV Ruby Bobby basketball Woody Bubble Pie and Grassy Chief for cheerful loser. Pie explodes. <laughs> No, no, Pencil. Apologize to Nelly. Sorry, Nelly. Loser is such a great guy. I agree. Loser, say hi to me. How you doing, Tree? Loser, you're my hero. Tree. What? We gotta get Teardrop to top. But why? Because I see you standing there silent for hours. I want to know what's going on inside her head, in her mind. I don't think it's worth it. So here's our plan. Did I not just say it wasn't worth it? I'll, I'll hold Teardrop's jaw open and you'll wiggle her, her vocal cords so that they make noise. That's it. I'm leafing. Tree leaves and leaves. Uh, Tree doesn't seem too cool. Well, Ice Cube, you're there. Are you cool? Uh, uh. Ice Cube, it's not that hard of a question. Are you cool? Uh. Uh, yeah, lie. Ice Cube is the coolest person I've ever met. He's always it's, it's most epically cool. Just like you are, too. We're all cool. Isn't it so awesome to be so cool? Ice Cube, since you're so cool, do you do you want to help me get Teardrop to talk? Yeah. Lie holds Teardrop's jaw open, and, and Ice Cube wiggles her vocal cords. Keep wiggling. Keep wiggling, Ice Cube. I can almost hear a voice. Uh oh. Yeah, go Ice Cube. You can do it. Why are you condoning Ice Cube's brutal abuse of innocent teardrop? I hate you. Yeah, I do too. No, I hate you. What? Why would you hate me? I'm just trying to stand up for teardrop. Your self improvement only occurs when we acknowledge our own behaviors are far from perfect. And dare I say, worthy of hate? Ice Cube is worthy of hate. Yeah, she is. She Damn with your pain. Yes, I am. Whoa. That's really thought provoking. Thank you for opening my eyes. You're welcome. Lion Icy. Lion Icy sees the torment. No. Ice Cube, it's time to stop abusing Teardrop. Ice Cube will only, will only stop when she wants to stop. I want to stop. Stop swiggling. Hmm. I'm proud of your decision. I'm not. You said you'd help me. You said you were cool. Sorry, continue wiggling. Ice Cube, I am appalled. While I lie, I am impressed. Flip switch. And I'm impressed. Oh, oh, what do I do? Simultaneously, clock, you're wrong. Listen to me, clock. Not listening. I'm a liar and I'm a switch. I know better than you, and I know that you were wrong. I can't believe you would do something like this. It's unbelievable. I need to stop right now. This is the worst thing I'm, I've seen ever coming out of you. I can't believe it. Go, ask you, bro. Go, I believe in you. A fork stabs teardrop. She bites teardrop. Ice cubes legs. Ah! I hate you. Huh? Maybe we should put a rest to this teardrop thing, I see. Yeah, I see. Let's, let's hear you cheer. I can't hear you. Louder. 
to jump. How would you jump vi so viciously on poor innocent Ice Cube? You should feel ashamed. Teardrop slaps both in clock and light, and then storms off. Well, I think we bought some long teardrop today. Truce holds out her hand. Truce, clock, it's not that hard. Just take my hand. Light reaches for clock's clock hands. Don't you dig dare touch my clock hand. Clock raises his foot and lies, shaking it. Hey, guys, can I be a part of this truce, too? I see joins hands slash feet with light and clock. Yay! Oh, look at that. I always thought Ice Cube was, was so meek, was too meek. But I guess he's good at negotiation after all. Yeah! Go Ice Cube! Your fan club is growing! Listen, Ringy, I never said I was a fan of Ice Cube. I was just analyzing her. This is why French Fry is one of my least favorite characters. But how can you not be a fan of Ice Cube? He's awesome! Well, well, then you, little rascal, are a mere follower, and followers never win. I, I, I hate you. I hate you, too. But I love you. I, and I, I love all of you. You guys are so amazing. I can't wait to meet all of you. Be quiet, Leafy. You're not helping. Oh, I see how it is. Maybe I don't want to be friends. Turns to four and other characters. What about you guys? Four other characters. What about you guys? Do you want to be friends? I bet you do, because you're awesome. Yeah, of course. It's it's good to collect as many friends as possible. Um, let me think about it. I'll come back to you later, Leafy. But, but why doesn't Giddy like you? I just don't know much about you yet. That's all. Well, you definitely cho um, chose to take this the whole way, Giddy. But if that's the way you want to do it, I guess I can't stop you. Hey, Giddy, what's your favorite number? Why? Oh, no reason. I just wanted to, to let you know that I don't have a favorite number. I actually have a favorite number. It's some uh, eight. I have 37 favorite numbers. Whoa, how do you have so many? I've collected them over the years. He jumps down to the edge of a clip. Gosh, those people sure want to get you to talk, huh? They just don't understand the appeal of silence. You know, there was a time where I never spoke, so I didn't understand. She drop faces again in excitement. I said there was a time when I never spoke, so I don't understand. She drop flutters her arms. Well, you clearly aren't egging me on. I thought you'd be curious, but I guess not. Eggy, what was that about? Eh, I tried to get your drop interested in one of my personal life stories, but she obviously wasn't interested. Teeny's hard to impress. Tell me about it. Oh, earlier today, I, I tried to sell her my fork repellent, but she didn't care enough to utter a word. She did do this weird arm fluttery thing, though. Oh, you made this gesture? Pillow flutters her arms. Yeah, exactly that gesture. I've done some research. I believe it means that the person cares so little that the last drop is drop with some cares spirits by being sucked out of their body. And through in their arms and out of the tips of their fingers and out into the outer, outer reaches of its interstellar state. <laughs> it just tells me we lost forever. The true indicator that that person doesn't give a fluff. Jeez, Teardrop is so hard to impress. Her standards must be through the roof. How can we ever get her attention? I honestly think it might be impossible. Uh, guys, maybe Teardrop... I'll be back with the voice acting guys. Uh. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, go off. Bye. Yes.